Hello and welcome to Lifeline. I'm your host, Apostle Brian Pruitt. Today, I want to talk about receiving your upgrade while walking through the process. Oh, man. So now check this out. Let me tell you what happened to me. So um, it's an early Tuesday morning and I was on my phone and I'm, I'm a big wrestling fan. And so uh, I was checking out some of the highlights uh, from uh, the, the WWE's uh, Raw. And so while watching that, my phone froze up and just shut off. There was no indication to let me know that there was something wrong. Or there was no glitches or anything like that. It just shut off and it would not turn back on. It was charged up. I know I had a full battery. And so I kept pressing the button. I kept pressing, I kept pressing, kept pressing. It would not come on. So <clears throat> I had to grab my other phone and thank God I have another phone uh, that I use for business. <clears throat> so I decided to, after work, take the phone to uh, get it checked out. So while standing there uh, in the store, I was waiting for some help and so i finally got some help and they took my phone back and <laughs> and then they came out and said well you know um there's nothing wrong with the phone there's no visible damages or it doesn't look like there's any kind of liquid or or anything got into it um we're just gonna have to just switch your phone out okay sounds good to me no problem I'm getting a new phone, right? And so, um, so I'm standing there, we're going to go through the process and everything. And so I'm thinking that I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to get, uh, a new phone here, um, right on the spot. Like, you know, I was expecting them to grab one of the you know boxes, you know, out of the, um, you know, grab one of the boxes out, out of the, their storage area and uh, just, just bring it out to me. But that didn't happen. The uh, guy that was working with me, he said, well, so uh, we put the order in and it's going to be at your house uh, in the next two business days. And so and then the guy said, well, no, actually it'll be here in the store. So you'll, you'll get a notification from us in the next two days. And you have to come back to the store and grab your new phone. And I said, okay, that's no problem. I was just happy to get the phone. But it was in that moment that God spoke to me as I was driving home. He said, you are experiencing an upgrade. You're experiencing an upgrade. Think about what just happened. Nothing wrong with your phone. Nothing, you know, visibly wrong. It was just time for an upgrade. But although I knew by information I was getting an upgrade to my phone, I realized that I had to walk through the process. Man, what a lesson there. Because uh, sometimes that, you know, we are so excited about the new that we forget that sometimes the new doesn't happen right away. Sometimes that even in knowing that you're going to receive something new, you have to walk out the process and be willing to walk out the process that is necessary in receiving the manifestation of the new. And so I want to encourage you all tonight because many of you, you don't realize that uh, you're in the season of an upgrade or receiving something new, something fresh. And it's so easy to just focus on the fact of what you lost. But if you spend so much time focusing on what you lost, then you will not have expectation for the new that is ahead. So that's one area. So we have to let go 
of the thing we lost. I had to stop, you know, come out of a place of like, man, what happened to my phone? What happened to my phone? I had to come out of that. I had to let that go and say, okay, you know what? It doesn't work anymore, but I'm getting a new phone. I'm getting a new phone. And glory to God, it's under warranty. Don't have to pay for it. Praise God. I'm getting a new phone. But it would have, I, I would have missed my moment in just expectation and just rejoicing if I was still focusing on, man, what happened to my phone, right? So the other thing I learned out of that is even in going through the process, God gives you what you need to sustain you until the news shows up. Oh man, this is good. Because in that moment where I said, oh man, you know, okay, I, like, man, I was thinking about my contacts and all my phone numbers. And I'm like, oh man, you know, all my pictures and all of that. And, and I'm like, man, I, you know, I'm going to miss, you know, uh, uh, some uh, text I usually get and, and uh, what if this person try to call me? Cause they don't have my business phone. They don't have my business phone number. Right. But I realized, Hey, God, you provided me with another phone so that while I'm walking through the process <laughs> and waiting to get the new phone to re- the, that will replace the, the old phone that just shut off, <laughs> that just broke down, you provide it. And what I'm saying to you is, look at how good God is. God is not only, and I, and I want you to hear this, and I want you to receive this. God is not only upgrading you or bringing in the new, but he has already provided for you so that while you are walking through the process, you still have what you need. Listen, I am not lacking a phone. I'm still able to make, I'm still able to make phone calls. I'm still able to, you know, reach out to my wife, you know, to my children. And hey, you know, because I have my contacts stored <laughs> uh uh in uh, I guess it was like um my Google account, however, but all my numbers are there. And so God provided, and I'm saying that <clears throat> for a reason tonight. I'm saying that for a reason today, because I want you to understand that that even as you're going through, God will provide. And that's what he's doing, that God is not going to allow you to miss a beat. There will not be any hiccups. There will not be any delays. There will not be any uh, shutdowns or whatever you want to call it. The uh, listen, the operation does not stop because. You don't have what you have. And God thought about all of this. God knew that I still going to have to make phone calls, that I still had to have a, a way to be able to uh, uh, not only to reach out, but to be reached as well. And so he provided a phone for me well in advance before this happened. So here we see phone whoo, shut off. But here there's another phone available. So I can still be able to make calls and receive calls. And while and while I am going through this process, I know that at the end of this, there's something new that is awaiting me. So I want you to, I hope these keys, just a few keys, just kind of put things in perspective because a lot of times, you know, <clears throat> we do miss our opportunities because we don't let go of the past. We don't let go of what happened and and we don't let go of what has happened. And the very thing, the very thing that God wants to give us, do you know that the more that we hold on to what happened, that is what will call cause a delay. That is something that is a surefire way of slowing down what God meant <clears throat> to give to you at the proper time. So you're just, just let go. Thank God for what he has provided. 
walk through the process with expectation, knowing that there is something new that is awaiting me. There is something new that is going to be in my possession. It may take two days. It may take two weeks. It may take two months. You know, it may take a year. But there is something that is coming into my possession. And I really hope this helps you all tonight because God gave me just this, this lesson <laughs> for me. And as I thought about it, I said, you know what? I believe that this is something really, really good to share because maybe it's not a phone for you. It's something else. What is it? What, what is it that God is challenging you or has been taught? He has been talking to you about, about letting go that you just have, you haven't let go of. What is it? What is the process that you're fighting? Are you, are you complaining about how long it's been? Are you expressing your frustration because you like, man, I want it now. I don't want to wait. Where are you at in this? And I'm telling you, it's time to sit back and just do some self-reflection. I got a good friend of mine that uh, he will always say that. <clears throat> he said, sometimes he said, at the end of the day, he said, I sit back and I do some self-reflection. <laughs> and you have to do the same thing. You have to sit back and say, you know what? I could complain. I could fuss. I could get upset and say, why, do have to, why, why does that take so long? How come I got to come back to the store and, and, and get this phone? How come y'all can't send it to me? This is y'all phone, right? Why, yeah. All of that, all of that would have would just killed everything. And, and even it damages, watch this, you all, it even damages the favor in the moment. You don't realize that even in that moment, favor <clears throat> is working on your behalf. I had favor tonight with the workers. They gave me what I needed, not just with my phone, but they gave me some other pieces that will take care of, of my iPad that needed updating that <laughs> that needed uh, fresh information but what if i was upset what would, what if i was sitting up arguing with them about the timing and about you know them not being clear about my phone and how come the phone is not here in the store and, and i want my phone now i need my phone what if i did that i would have killed that favor that god gave me because see you know god god doesn't want us just to have favor with him he wants us to have favor with man and only he can cause that but my friend be very careful i'm telling you if you allow yourself to be easily frustrated about everything if you allow yourself to get upset about certain things and 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 wanting to you know be mad about uh uh certain like this circumstances and how this happened and that happened there's so many things that you are hurting in that moment that was set up to help you and so instead of complaining my god instead of complaining don't allow complaining to rob you. It's so easy to complain. I really feel like I'm talking to someone. Stop complaining. Don't allow complaining to steal what God has already set up. Think about this. Think about this. It's just like a family who lost power in their house. But there's already a hotel set up and reserved 
already there waiting for them. All they got to do is get in their car and just go there. It's already been paid for. All they, they got to do is pick up the keys and just go in the room, right? But they're spending so much time complaining. Oh, the power's off. And, and, and oh, man, I, you, man, this is, this, this is just, this is just crazy. And like, this is so inconvenient. And, uh, 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 you know, and, and not, not realizing that everything has already been prepared. Do you know that God did, God does the same thing for us? God already had things arranged. I need you to understand this. God had all, already had things arranged and set up for me. And all I had to do was follow the instructions. Go to the store. Go to the phone store. Tell them what happened. Just show up. Listen, everything was, uh, they, listen, I didn't know them. They didn't know me. But everything was already prepared. It makes me think about the prophet. I believe it was Elijah. The Bible says that uh, God provided for him uh, food by the raven. The raven brought food to him and there was, he received water from the brook. But all that stopped because God says, now there's another place and another way I'm going to provide for you. He could have complained. He could have been like, man, I'm so comfortable here. You know, you got me moving. You got me moving again. I like, I like the the fact that the raven was coming to me and feeding me. I like that I'm right here near near the brook and I get what I need. Why I gotta get up now? Why I gotta get up and move now? But he didn't complain. He just obeyed the Lord. And what happened? When that stopped, when the raven stopped coming, the brook stopped flowing. The preparation. There was a widow woman. God said, I already spoke to her. I already prepared her to take care of you. And I'm telling you, before I stepped into the store, God already had things arranged. All I had to do was just show up. I could have just went home and said, oh man, you know, you know, we got a snowstorm that's coming. The weather's getting bad. Eh. Nah, I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to go. Hey, nah, I'll just do another day. No, I left and I went straight there. And by me going there, I received a blessing. I received favor. So I just want us just to think about that. I want you to understand where you are because God is up. God is upgrading. He's, he's bringing forth new things in your life. He's bringing forth new things in your life. You got to understand that. And I want you to know that this is what is happening this year. God is upgrading us. He is bringing forth new things into our lives. But we got to be willing to let go. We got to be patient in the process. We got to be thankful for his provision through the process. And we have to move in expectation. Let go. All right. Let go. Receive the provision. Go through the process. Be thankful by what while walking through the process. And move with expectation. I hope this helped you. I hope this will encourage you and wherever you are so that you will not miss out on the wonderful season that you're in. Thanks for listening to me here at Lifeline. I'll see you next time.